what B-Boying has done for me in my life is, is given me a perspective uh, of confidence that I can carry with me into other areas of my life as well. This is a lifestyle. This, this is what makes us who we are. A lot of people look at it as true art and artistry. I never thought I would be traveling the world dancing. Like, honestly, seriously. Like, I guess it's, a, it's a really surreal sometimes uh, when I think about it. But I guess I just always had like this burning desire just to like break, you know, and create. So, and it just led me here. It's, it's not like I thought about being famous or anything like that. I mean, who is like your friends who you, your best friends? It's like they're like your second family. The ones who you go to when you need things, like outside of b-boying, if you need them to to help you move out of your house, then they'll be there. They're like a second family. What's up, everybody? My name's uh, Boogie B. I'm repping Optimistic Crew and War Machine from uh, Minnesota, Twin Cities area. Um, I've been dancing for about seven years, and I uh, started with a group of friends when we were in uh, junior high. Now this dance has become such a big part of my life that it, it's like everything in my life motivates my dance and vice versa my dance motivates other aspects of my life. So what I mean by that is all the people I hang out with, all my friends, my crew, they're all, it's all related to dance. Um, I, I wake up and I break like every single day and it's not specifically for a competition or, or for an event, it's just, it's just part of my life now, it's just something that I don't even have to think about. Hi, my name is Abide, uh, David Pellinen. I'm 30 years old. I've been dancing 13 years. My lovely wife, Naoko. My uh, newest son, Isai. And there's Kiyoshi climbing the tree in the background. So, he's our little climber. He started climbing when he was about a uh, little less than a year old. He was climbing out of his crib, sliding down on the, the rungs of the, the crib. <laughs> Practice schedule sometimes gets a, a bit, you know, a bit rough on the family. So I, I gotta try and balance that out. Um, Kyoshi loves me dancing. He he always likes to see video of, of me, and he's like, I want to watch you dancing at the at the basketball game, and he'll like, you know, want to watch it on my computer. You know, it's it's a it's a side income. I don't make a lot of money dancing, but it's something that you know also can also contribute to our family so that's kind of nice. I'm 30 years old now. I'm not I'm not a young kid like I used to be and uh, and I, I I've had to take different responsibilities on having children of my own, having you know wife and having a house, having different bills to pay. Uh, it's it's life got real busy real fast you know and uh, I don't want to stop breaking and I don't think I can because it's something that is a part of it. Oh, good knee spin. What's up, my name is Minnesota Joe, I'm 22 years old, and I've been dancing since I was 13 years old. My, I would describe my dance style as, um, I just try to be original as possible. Um, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean like, making total, complete, weird, different moves. It means just putting my original thought into a certain move. You know what I mean? Like, everything's been done. You just gotta like, twist it and make it your own, you know? I, I love power moves. That's, how, that's what I started doing. So I just wanna put my own little twist and flavor into, into my power moves, you know? Uh, a crew to me is uh, more than just uh, somebody you battle with, really. It's, it's people that you've, you've really suffered with, you know, you've had happy experiences with. It's, it's a big family, you know? Um, a crew is very important to me because I'm not very close to my family at all. So, you know, being a part of a crew is, is more than just battling for me, you know? It's, it's, it's everything. Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome to Minnesota Joe's room. Right this way, I'll give you the tour. I'll give you the grand tour. Oh, check this out, check this out. Man, Ninja Joe, Ninja Joe, man, living in the penthouse, man. Come Dude, on, let's go. I got, I got premium uh, German wine from France. <laughs> What's German wine for? My crew's Looney Tunes, my family. 
basically. That's how I can descri describe it, basically. <laughs> I feel like we have a, a pride in our scene. Like, every time we go out of state to represent, there's always that, there's always that Minnesota feeling of the pride. And, like, like, we're great that, we feel great that we're from Minnesota. You're with your friends on a road trip or on a trip. Just, like, you're exploring something new, you know? Like, something totally different, but at the same time, it's the same, like, b-boying. You're going to explore another scene's way of b-boying. Work a lot, break a lot. It's just a constant, it's a constant hustle. It's a constant, it's a constant motivation, like I said, through every aspect of life. If you got a job, if you're going to school, you got to, you got to consistently stay up with each aspect of your life. So when you do that, you can travel, you can make your dreams happen, you experience new things, and that's how you learn.